So before we proceed, I am shooting this right now on my mobile phone kasi i-unbox pa nga natin yung Sony A7C. Pero in reality, tapos na ako mag-unbox probably last week kasi this is the first time na hindi ako nag-upload for a week. Usually once or twice a week nag-upload ako. So yun, inaaral ko pa ng mabuti and I'm just gonna insert my unboxing video sa video na to. But before that, I just want to thank and a big big shout out to CBNS. Carl's Buy and Sell, I will link their Facebook page down in the description box. Doon ko nabili yung Sony A7C and my lenses. And si Carl, ang dali-dali kausap. Very, very recommendable. So again, visit their Facebook page. Nasa description box. Hindi ako sinabihan na i-recommend sila or shoutout. Gustong-gusto ko lang yung, yung service at quality nila. And speaking of shoutout, shoutout kay MD Duran, Juan Vicente, and Christopher Tabuada Visuals or Films. Yeah, basta yun. Sony A7C na tayo, Sony na tayo, and let's proceed to the unboxing. And I'm just gonna... Yeah, unboxing muna tayo. The next thing that we're gonna talk about is my first impressions sa Sony A7C. But before that, I'm just gonna switch out the camera because yun nga, I'm using my phone. And this time, this is the first ever talking head video na magaganap using the Sony A7C. <coughs> Gotta be excited. Could be right back. So we are now on the Sony A7C. Hindi to pros and cons ha. It's just my first impression talaga when when I held the Sony A7C on my or in my hands. First things first, it is tiny and compact. Well, I think that was their goal na magiging full frame to but at the same time is yung grip niya or yung feel niya is an APS-C sensor. The grip feels nice, medyo makapal siya sa gilid. It's just that it is kind of short for my hand. Second is because, yun nga, maliit tong body na to. Yung EVF niya or the viewfinder is really, really small. Especially for me, if I'm wearing glasses, dapat ibababa ko pa yung, yung glasses ko just to see things clearly. But medyo I'm used to small EVFs naman since I came from the Canon M50. The next is yung mga inputs niya is... The placement is really nice, especially with the door design. Pag tatanggalin mo yung cover, it's just like probably may hinge na ganun lang talaga. And you have that extra security of the SD card kasi may lock siya. And speaking of SD card, isa lang yung SD card slot niya which I don't really mind because I am not a professional. So pang YouTube, YouTube lang to. So that's not a big deal or not a deal breaker for me personally. The battery is really nice and just... Solid. Coming from the Canon M50, which has a battery life na really, really terrible. Now, I just have two batteries previously. Sa M50 ko, I have four. And then, dito is the NPFZ100 na siguro. And this could record probably 4K up to three or four hours. I'm not sure. Pero the battery life is really, really good. Another downside, but for me, it is just okay siguro. Because again, galing ako sa M50, is the limited custom custom customization buttons there's probably i don't know yung trash bin lang siguro yung yung pwede mong ma-custom basta unlike the Sony A7 III i think meron siyang tatlo or apat na custom button so that's a big plus for the others but for me i'm used to this one except na wala siyang front dial yun yung parang ayaw na ayaw ko cuz i'm really used to adjusting the shutter at the front and then yun nga aperture and iso different modes pero okay naman kasi yung lente ko i can control the aperture sa lente mismo so that's that's good enough and the last thing na first impression ko dito na medyo masakit talaga 
talaga sa ulo and this is probably the worst transition ever is switching from Canon to Sony menu system. Because I heard yung A7S 3 daw has a newer menu system which is I think more friendlier and organized. But this one together with the other A7 series except for the S3 is still using the old system menu which is such a headache for me kasi nasanay ako sa very again user friendly na Canon so yung transition ko from Canon to Sony is medyo nahihirapan dala ako but I think from from what other people are saying or from other or sa mga tropa ko nasasabi na masasanay din ako so yeah mag, mag, masasanay din ako eventually cause wala na akong choice eh. and right now yung gagawin natin is I'm gonna test this Canon Puchik na sana ako sa Canon. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna test this Sony A7C with the 24mm of Viltrox and the 85mm coming from Viltrox as well. I'm gonna shoot some stuff outside siguro. Saglit lang and then maybe do a video so you can see the image quality that this bad boy brings. Yun. So that is it for today everyone. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Maybe soon I will do a review of this camera. I can't do a review yet kasi hindi pa ako nasanay. Hindi ko pa na hindi ko pa talaga na na, na experimentuhan ng todo tong camera na to. This is just my first impression and somewhat hindi naman somewhat unboxing talaga yon. So again, never forget to subscribe, like this video if you like this one. If you don't like this one, please dislike this video kasi engagement pa rin yon. Follow me on Instagram, like my Facebook page. What else did I miss? I'm so happy with the Sony A7C because dating dati ko pag gusto talaga mag Sony. Here we go. J Flow is on Sony. God bless. Stay safe. But may ball pin akong hawak. Pa peace. So yon. Sony na po si J Flow and. I am not encouraging you to expect better quality videos. Chill lang pa. Kasi people are sa, sa social media ko and, and other sa other platforms, DMs, group chats, is they're excited na daw kung ano yung mga outputs ko with using this Sony A7C. So yun, wag masyadong mag-expect kasi hindi pa ako sanay sa Sony. Give me some time, mga 3 years. Tapos maybe my quality will improve after then or by then. Okay? So yun, puppies.